Hey guys, it's Geeks Corner here. Just want to see, first of all, how many people are going to join on if they're available. We are looking at talking about how to get Kodi on iOS 9. Uh, nice to see you guys joining in there. If you're unable to view the school chat right now, we will be saving it and uploading it to our YouTube video. Okay, so, just to show first of all that I am actually on iOS 9. Just going to settings, general, about. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay. There you go. 9.0.2. I actually updated from 9.0.1 .1 this morning. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on here. Now, a lot of people like to go for free options uh, to get apps, which is fine. Currently, I don't know of any that actually offer a working Kodi on iOS 9. I know there are some free ways to get them on iOS 8, uh, especially if you're jailbroken. Uh, Kodi is a video streaming app. She can watch movies and TV shows. It's really good. Uh, other alternatives then is Moviebox, Showbox, Cartoon HD, but Kodi generally has uh, you can put repos on there, and that allows you then to get most films and TV shows the fastest. Now, I'm going to show you how to get it from iPoonsto. iPoonsto is, so look here, yeah, it is the most amazing movie streaming. Uh, i got to be fair, I don't use it as often since I started using Moviebox. Uh, I've used it on my laptop, I've used it on my Android box, it's wicked. To get it on iOS 9, uh, it is a paid signing service. It's just $9.99 for the year. But you do get some other fantastic things as well, not just Cody. But obviously, we just talk about Cody today. So go ahead here and open up iPoons Store. Let's flip around so you guys can see. Okay, now as you can see on iPoons Store, you've got Movie Box. You've got the older version. Uh, I'll tell you in a moment how to get iPoons Store. It's all on my website, which I'll give you in a moment. And Cody Jarvis is the one that works on iOS 9. You got Flappy Bird, and as you can see, you got a few other things on there, okay? So, let's go back up here. Cody Jarvis, you just click on there, and it's obviously got all the details. So all you simply do, once you've got iPoon Store, which I'll go through how to get in a moment, you just click your sign up. Just leave it work for a moment. Okay, now, because Kodi is such a large app, it does take a few moments for it to sign and to actually install. So, what I'll do is I'll just talk about how you get iPoon Store. Is you can go to my website, which is www.geekcorner.co.uk. Okay, so then you click on to the download section. Now, it shows Cody there. Now, sometimes, Cody, for those asking, it's a movie and TV sh streaming on there. You don't need to be jailbroken. Okay. Now, if it doesn't show up here once you've signed it, click on Reload. Uh, though it's $9.99 for those asking for a year, it's free streaming. Uh, it's kind of like movie box now, but you can actually add repos on that. And... That's fine if you don't want to pay it, but you get a lot more. But like I say, for a film or a TV where you go to cinema, you pay near enough $10 for that for one. You get an unlimited films and TV shows. It's your choice. Click on install. And then we're going to install it again. Okay. So whilst that's installing, like I say, go to my website, which is www geekcorner.co.uk uh, Do I think it's better than Moviebox? In some ways, yes, because it gets a lot of the content faster. Uh, but I, I love Moviebox as well. Hi, Braxton. Uh, it's a movie and TV show streaming app. Okay. So, to get iPoon Store, click over here. And straight on our website, as you can see there, sign up for iPoon Store, and that's a direct link from there. Now, I don't get any money for you buying via my website. It's fine. You can go straight through 
to their website directly. It's up to you. Like I say, $9.99 for the year. You sign up to those. I've done some work with them in the past. Uh, I've done reviews on them, and I can tell you their customer services for anybody who has any problems, it's fantastic. It's second to none. You email them over. Obviously, time allowing for time zone differences. They get back to you really quick, and they help you out on there. Okay? Now, what you will need is your UDID, which is Unique Device ID. To get that on my website, click on the search box there, and simply type in UDID. Okay. Give it a few moments. There we go. How to get your UDD ID with that computer. Click on that. And there you just scroll straight down. And it's got a link on there to use for this site. Just click on that. And it'll take you to Easy UDID ID. Click on that there. Yeah, Jaws 19, uh, it's a blog. Basically, they've done it because of, obviously, it's 2015 and Back to the Future. It's a little parody uh, that they've actually done, which is good. You install the profile. It's not signed. It's fine. It actually deletes itself within a few moments anyway. And then it'll take you back over, and it will give you your UDDID. You can actually email it to yourself, and then you can register for iPod Store. Uh, you go through my website, which is geekcorner.co.uk, or you can go straight to easyuddid.com. All our links are on our site there. Let's pop that out the way. Now, as you can see, Cody is actually on there. Okay, and there you go. Let's flip it back around for you. And there, you can start then customizing it to add your repos. Hi Turkey. Okay, and you can customize all this then how you want it. Uh, there is a, yeah, it's on 9.0.2, which I'm actually on, if you're those just asking. Let's go back there and just show you that. There you go. And as you know, iOS 9 isn't jailbroken yet. So, yeah, you can grab it and then I'll give you, a, I'll leave a link on my website. So you can actually know then how to install repos. It's quite simple. It's fantastic. And like I say, yeah, you can do it on your iPhone. You can do it on your iPad. Basically on any iOS 9.0.2. It actually works on 9.0.1 and iOS 9 as well. Uh, but like I say, that's there. I'm actually jailbroken on my iPhone 5. So that's what I've tested before. On the iPad, I've got the latest software. So obviously not jailbroken. Like I say, $9.99 for a year, you get that. You get the other options then as well. Flip that back around. But also, uh, no, no security risks really on there. It's completely trustworthy. I wouldn't use these guys if I think it was going to risk my device at all. You've got all these other options as well. No, no jailbreak to use Cody on there. You can get TV shows. Uh, you can get uh, live streaming as well, sports on Cody. You obviously have the repos. Yeah, you just purchase the iPoon store. Yeah, it's $9.99. Uh, like I say, go through my website. It's easier. It's geekcorner.co.uk. Uh, no, you can get it on your tablet. You can get it uh, on your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod. So yeah, it's if, like I say, you go through my website, I don't get any money for that. It's just I've got all our links on there. And then trying to remember all the links that you'll need. And like I say, I'll ask you for your UDID, sorry, UDID. And you just search that on my website and I'll give you a direct link as well. So I hope you guys have found that useful. Uh, yeah, you can get TV shows. You can get you can stream it. If you've got depends on how you, you basically do things, you can airplay things. If you've got Android, you can put it on Android, but this is just iOS that we're talking about for the time being. Um, if you haven't checked out my earlier podcast, you can see how to get Movie Box on there as well. Uh, I've not tried Chromecast because I actually don't have a Chromecast, unfortunately, but that's something I will look into. Um, and you can come through to my website and you can leave me a message and I'll get back to you on that as well. Uh, go through geekcorner.co.uk. So...
Yeah, you can put it on a fire stick. Obviously, that's Android. But yes, you can do it on there. You can silo it. And that's how you get your UDID. Okay. So uh, I hope you guys have found that useful. Any other questions, really, before I actually wrap this up for you guys? Uh, you can see these over again because we will actually be saving this in a moment. Just add us. Uh, and I'll also chuck a link up on our YouTube. So go to my website, www.geekcorner.co.uk. That's no problem. It takes a bit of time to get used to. Uh, and also on our website, it's got all the links. Try to search for things or just use the little tab and uh, go through iPoon store. Uh, yeah, basically, if you've got or you're just on your Fire Stick and you just want to know how to add things on your Fire Stick, then let me get the website up. These guys, uh, they've been up for about a month and they are actually really good at helping out as well. It's Cody Community. And I'll just get the website up so you guys can actually have that as well. Give you a DID, no, security risks, I'm not even, to be honest, I understand people get worried about that. It's not a problem. These guys are really trustworthy. Like I said, I've done some, I've had these guys since about February. I've done some extensive testing and uh, I've actually done some work with them as well. They're fantastic. So don't worry about any security risks on there. So for those asking uh, other questions about the Cody community, dot com, they're actually the best for full-on Cody related questions. Uh, they know a, a lot more than me. Okay. So, yeah, by all means, go on there. Ask those guys. They'll help you out. They're wicked. Uh, I use it not as much as, as I probably could. Don't have time, to, unfortunately, these days. But, yeah, like I say, check out another podcast if you want to have a look at some of the other apps that we'll be reviewing. Uh, I hope this has helped you guys. We'll be doing some more of these podcasts uh, about some other apps in the future if you've missed it from the start and you want to go back uh, we will be saving these offline as well uh, you can get them from our website or via our youtube on there i hope that's helped you guys out any other questions before i go okay well thanks a lot people for taking part and coming in and i hope you'll join me again soon thanks <laughs>